There's about a 50% chance that the next random stranger you meet has high blood pressure or hypertension. At this very moment, about one half of all American adults are walking around with it. Yeah half of adults, and even 15% of kids have blood pressures that are too high. Left untreated, high blood pressure leads to cardiovascular disease, the number one killer in the world. I'm Zane, a board certified primary care doctor, and the good news is that there are natural ways to improve blood pressure. Under the guidance of their own healthcare providers, people with elevated or high blood pressures can use these five simple but effective methods to delay, reduce, and even sometimes eliminate the need for blood pressure medicine altogether. And people with normal blood pressure can use these five methods to prevent high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. And the third one specifically can help people achieve the other ones more easily. We all know that regular physical activity is part of a healthy lifestyle, but it can specifically lower blood pressure for up to 24 hours afterwards. And if done consistently, it keeps it lower over time by about 5 to 8 points or millimeters of mercury. It may not sound like much, but even a 5 point improvement in blood pressure over time can prevent things like strokes and heart attacks in a lot of people. It can even help people whose blood pressure is so hard to treat that it requires maximum strength doses of multiple medications, something called resistant hypertension. People with heart conditions or other chronic health problems should check in with a healthcare provider before increasing their activity level, but in general, listen to your body and don't push beyond your limits. Most experts recommend a minimum of two and a half hours of moderate intensity activity per week for adults, which is where your heart rate is up a little and you're sweating, but still able to hold a conversation. But you know what's better than no physical activity? anything. So if you're not moving as much as you'd like to, even a few minutes of something a couple of times a week is better than nothing, and you can build up from there. The best type of physical activity to do is whatever is easy and fun because it means that you're more likely to do it consistently. When people think of increasing their activity, they often think of formal exercise including going to the gym, but there are other ways to stay physically active including dancing, gardening, and even washing your car. I talk more about this in another video that I'll link down below. Walking briskly or like you have somewhere to be as they say is a super cheap and easy method of aerobic exercise that almost anyone can do. Resistance training or lifting weights can improve blood pressure and strengthen bones in people of all ages and counteract muscle loss as we get older. Good sleep enhances the benefits of exercise and exercise can help you sleep better too. But sleeping too much might not be such a great thing either. Yeah, for real. Sleeping more than 8-9 to nine hours per night regularly has been linked to hypertension and may be associated with sleep apnea, depression, or other medical conditions. So if this sounds like you, be sure to see a healthcare provider. I bet it comes as no surprise though that people who get less than 7 hours of sleep may have an increased risk of hypertension too. And the less sleep they get, the higher that risk gets. If you're having trouble sleeping and are looking for tips on how to sleep better naturally, I have an entire video on that that I'll link to as well. Getting the proper amount of sleep can definitely help with this next one. Stress and healthy behaviors are interconnected. Stress can lead to high blood pressure through activation of biological processes like the fight or flight response. On top of that, when we're stressed out, we tend to engage in behaviors like stress eating, poor sleep, and more alcohol consumption that can lead to weight gain, high blood pressure, and overall worse health. The good news is that the relationship between stress and health goes both ways. So yeah, stress leads to unhealthy behaviors, but doing things that are healthy can also improve stress levels. Exercise can directly reduce stress in addition to directly lowering blood pressure as you saw earlier. Earlier. Talking with a therapist or someone you trust, doing activities like journaling and meditation, or seeing a healthcare provider can help you manage stress which could end up leading to better health as well. I made a video on how stress affects heart health that I'll link to down below and it has some more tips on how to reduce stress if you're interested. And I know life can be stressful so here's a few seconds of some cute animals. In addition to directly improving our health, exercise, better sleep, and less stress can help us maintain a healthy weight which itself has a lot of health benefits including better blood pressure. In people who are overweight or obese, losing weight can lower blood pressure by around 5 points but what's considered overweight or obese? The BMI or body mass index is a decent way of categorizing obesity and I'll leave a link to a calculator in the description below. A BMI of 25 to 30 is considered overweight and 30 and up is considered obese. The BMI isn't a perfect tool when it comes to measuring heart risk especially in people with a lot of muscle mass and there are a lot of other ways to determine heart risk too like people's waist circumference like literally the waist size of someone's pants for example a waist size above 35 inches for women and 40 inches for men is linked to diabetes and heart disease but losing weight is easier said than done and it seems almost impossible to a lot of people i understand because it took me years of trying to finally be able to lose weight but hopefully implementing some of the first few changes can help with this one i found that making dietary changes is one of the most effective methods in maintaining a healthy weight and it has a ton of other health benefits too like Surprise, surprise, better blood pressure. 
Two diets popular in the medical and health and wellness community are the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet, and both have been shown to help people live longer. They're different in a few ways, but the thing that they both have in common is that they both include a lot of fruits and vegetables while limiting carbohydrates and processed foods. Switching from an unhealthy diet to the DASH diet, for example, can improve blood pressure by around 11 points, which can literally change the outcome of someone's life by preventing that stroke or heart attack that would have happened if their blood pressure was higher. Limiting alcohol to no more than one to two drinks per day can lower blood pressure by around four points. Limiting sodium can do even more, dropping blood pressure by about five or six points. Keeping sodium to under 2.3 grams a day can keep people healthy, and there's an even greater benefit by keeping it under one and a half grams a day in a lot of people. If you wanna know more about what to eat to lower blood pressure, check out my other video that talks about just that. And check out this playlist with more videos on living healthier. Peace, and see you in the next one.